and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's over there, and I got to hit you with one quick, early, and fast this morning because you don't want to miss it. Go ahead, hit me. You ready to bob and weave? Yep. Uh, we stumbled on this on Netflix last night, and you might want to catch it because I haven't seen a lot of hype around it or anything. Okay. But there is a laugh-in revival on Netflix, and it's about an hour-long special, and they okay. bob and weave in between. Today's biggest names in comedy and old clips from Laugh-In from back in the day. It's really pretty funny. All right. Really? See, it, I I was aware of Laugh-In. I, I never laughed out loud at Laugh-In. It was well, like we were the little. precursor. Yeah, right. It was the precursor to Saturday Night Live. Right. Uh, so it was like, I mean, even if you look back at the old SNLs from like the 70s, they do not help, hold up well for no. the most part. No. Aside from the interview, you want to see something hysterically funny. From old SNL that would never get on the air today, but is incredibly funny. The interview with Chevy Chase interviewing Richard Pryor for a custodial position at a school. It oh, is one I... of the funniest. It is off the charts. Could not be made today. No. Incredibly funny. And there's a lot of stuff in this Laugh-In show that is the same way. And I think that's why yeah. they went to Netflix with it. Because okay. and, and even the new stuff... It's pretty left. It's pretty far left. It, it really is. Um, what do you like? What do you mean exactly? Well, I mean, yeah. laughing was political. Yeah. You know, they took a lot of shots at politicians and things like that. Right. And they don't quit in in the new one. It, it, of course. It, well, and that's where, like, but, stuff, like not, I'm not. Uh, go ahead. Continue. Anyway, I'm, I'm just telling you, they 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 kind of just weave it all together between. Mm -hmm you know, the old and the new with, with laughing and it's, it's, it's really pretty good. So you might want to look it up. I'll give it a shot, but it's one of the things I think is where I've said before that Donald Trump is destroying comedy right now. Right. It's just because every, every comic feels the need to assert their uh, political uh, alliance, uh, which is anti-Trump, which is fine, but it's when it's the same joke over and over, like there are some that are fun, like Alec Baldwin is Trump is hysterical. Right. Even though it's incredible, you know, it's it's hysterically funny, but most of it is just it's it's like the old Ronald Reagan, uh, like Johnny Carson. This is what Johnny Carson would do back in the day. It'd be one little hit at Reagan, and then he'd move on to other things. Right. Now it's just yeah, they don't dwell on it. We're just hitting the same pinata over and over right. again. They don't really dwell like, on uh, it, but they they there are really into it. you know quite a few sucker punches thrown. So okay, but nonetheless, it's uh. Ooh. Who from who who knew is is doing it? Um, well, there's the quite a few faces I don't really recognize. Um, okay. But well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know their names, but it's like, oh yeah, that guy. Um, but Jeff Ross is in it. Um, oh, okay. They dig Billy Crystal up for some reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> um, who's the host? Uh, Doogie Howser's the host. Um, really? Yeah. Okay. And then they have. Did you know Lonnie Anderson was on um, Laugh-In, the original Laugh-In? I didn't know. Yeah, I, Lonnie I, Anderson what, is, is on the show all over the place. Um, was Goldie Hawn? Gold, Goldie Hawn today is not on, but they have a lot of footage of her from back oh, in the day. Okay. Um, did you know Ruth Buzzy's still alive? Which one was Ruth Buzzy? I can't. Ruth Buzzy's still alive. Yeah. Lily Tomlin was on there. Yeah. Uh, it, it, Lily it, Tomlin was funny. Trust me. It's, it's, worth, it's, worth, okay. it's worth your hour. Uh, go right. watch the Laugh In Revival on on Netflix. I was trying to think of what was I just watching on Netflix. I just finished that Christina Applegate show, uh, Dead to Me, which it's uh, she's a plays a widow whose uh, whose husband died tragically in a car accident. But it's really it's it's good drama. It's it's good dark comedy. It's it's really it's really really good. Yeah. Highly recommend checking that out. And I've got a, okay. got a ton of other stuff, but I will I will give it a look see. Give that a look see. All right. Thank you. Ready to do this? Do this. All right, let's do it. A lot of stuff happening over the weekend. I was, you know, Memorial Day, it's it's kind of touch and go. There, there, there could be some huge stories. Sometimes they kind of slip under the radar. This I had to start off with this because this was amazing. Have, haven't had a good OD story in a long time. A 42-year-old Japanese man has died following a seizure on a flight from Bogota to Tokyo. The seizure was apparently the result of swallowing 246 packets of cocaine. Whoa! How? I don't even know. I mean, you would think maybe a stop at, I don't know, 245 five packets. 
You know, you get up in the 80s, you get up over 100, you get up maybe maybe 117, you go, I've had enough, 246. Wow. Uh, an autopsy revealed the cause of death. Shocker, brain swelling from a cocaine overdose. Flight uh, reportedly made an emergency landing in northern Mexico on Friday. When you think about all the stuff you did back in the day, when you were, you know, getting your buzz on. Yep. I mean, you were, you, you, you never you tried cocaine. It. No, I never did either. And I was going to ask you, did you ever see anybody do it? Have you ever seen it laid I, out? I should never, I, I can't say that I ever saw somebody physically do it. But I, I guess the closest I came to actually seeing cocaine was uh, one night in this little bar in Sparta. They were doing it off the back of the toilet tank. Okay, yeah. And the owner of the bar came out, and, and she had wiped her hand on the back of the toilet tank, and she was yelling at the pool league, you know, stop doing blow in my bar. What is it? And that's like, see that. What is it about cocaine and toilets? Because I saw a guy do it off a toilet seat at Bourbon Street in Kalamazoo in the mid '90s. No idea. And that was like, it's like, dude, what are you? Do I mean, why off that? Is it just? I mean, was it more comfortable place to rest your head? As you, you know. I don't know. I don't. I just don't. I don't know anything about I don't cocaine. Don't, I, don't, I mean, I know it speeds you up, right? Yeah, that's kind of gives yeah. you like a euphoric speed type mm -hmm. feeling thing, and I, I, other than that, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a weird, it, I, I've always had a fear of it. And, you know, it's one of those things that in back in the eighties, it just, it really, it scared me to oh, the point where yeah, I would never terrible even stuff. consider it, but Still is. don't do cocaine. Yeah. I mean, especially not off toilets. Okay. We're just right. saying, you know, we're not judging it. We're just saying, don't do it off toilet seats or I'm saying don't do it. Toilets. Period. Well, no, we'll see. I'm see that. See, there you have kind of a judgmental tone where you say, "Don't Not do it." Really. I'm, I'm, I'm looking I'm out saying, for people's Don't health. Don't do it off toilet seats. Well, I and and good for you. I'm just trying to say, if you're going to do it, not condoning doing it, saying you shouldn't, but don't do it off the, off toilets. That's right. Okay, thank you. Or say, okay. Yes. So Win yourself a nice mirror at the carnival the and do it off that is what you're saying. <laughs> no, well, I'm saying if you have to. <laughs> anyway. Moving on, sad news out of the world of sports. Legendary Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer Bart Starr and Boston Red Sox and Chicago Cubs All-Star Bill Buckner have died. Starr passed away at the age of 85. Buckner was 69, of course, a star leading the Packers to uh, five championships back in the 60s. Buckner, man, this guy was an All-Star, 22 years in the bigs, uh, dies at 69, and the first thing anybody thinks of is the ball going through his legs yep. in 1986, the World Series. I still remember watching that game. I was rooting for the Mets. I was rooting against the Red Sox. So this was a great moment for me uh, for because for some reason I just hated all Boston teams. But they had the World Series trophy on the field. Bob Costas was down there getting ready to interview the owner of the Red Sox. They had... The locker room, the Boston Rod Red Sox locker room, they ha had the tarp over over the lockers, you know, the champagne being wheel wheeled in, and it goes through his legs, and that's it. It's over, and then they go on to lose game seven. It, it was – it's sad that that is how he's remembered. This guy was yeah, an all-star, had a great career. Time, 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 time was kinder to him, though. You know, yeah. it, it worked out over time. You know, they – for for a while there, he was the demon, and after a while, they kind of they, they gave you know yeah, they well, gave him his credit where credits due. Wait, but the, the guy literally had to move out of Massachusetts. He had to move to I think it was Montana yeah. to get away to try and get away from this. Because you well, imagine, you, like, dude, it's every Boston. Every day after that, it's Boston. Yeah, yeah. You know? they got this neighborhood called Southie. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Buckner was living in South Boston uh, well. back then. <laughs> Why? Something wrong with that? Think... Matt Damon's from there. <laughs> Wait, was what, are you talking Matt Damon, Matt Damon, or, or Will Hunting? <laughs> the janitor who liked to solve math problems. There you go. Did I ever tell you the story about I had a roommate who totally destroyed that movie for me? No. He was like, this is the dumbest movie of all time. He's like, I'm a janitor. I'm up on the floor. Oh, here's a math problem. I'm back to being a janitor again. It was, it, and I'm like, really? yeah, you're right. Why would you? Why would you not let people know that it was you who solved that math? It, it was kind of dumb when you when you kind of break it down and look at it like that. Anyway, roommate, huh? Yeah, this was yeah, and then yeah, my roommate in the nineties. Okay, this is where you insinuated something else. I'm sitting. I just okay, hey, no, 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 no. I see what you're doing. Roommate's fine. Roommate's fine. Yeah. Yeah. 
Roomies are great. Mm -hmm. He went on to become a pilot. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah. What are you doing? Ah. Waiting for your next story. Okay, next story. Yeah. The lights are back on in Muskegon. A squirrel got into a substation, fried itself, and knocked out power to more than 2,000 from downtown Muskegon and Muskegon Heights on that Sunday morning. Power was fully restored yesterday. Did that hit you at all? You have a, a um, I was coming home, lights and out. the lights were out at a couple of intersections. Mm -hmm. So I did my I did my duty. I called nine one one. I reported a, nine, a non emergency, and uh, they thanked me for my my yeah. Okay, what time were you driving through? I I don't I don't remember. I just I remember I came to Seaway and Southern, and the lights were out. And so you I called. Yeah, I called. Hmm. I always do that. I, I just would assume they already knew it was out. Well, I've never you know what Dave, and then you know t write down the word assume. <coughs> And tell me what that makes. Say again. The word assume. Okay, there. What does that make? I don't care. Makes an ass out of you and me, doesn't I it? I don't. Yeah, I don't like to. So I don't people. assume I things. If I now. if I see it, I say it. I report okay. things. Okay. That's what I do. You're hello, nine one one. Yes. Yeah. Hello. You might know me. My name's Andy O'Reilly. I'm kind of a big deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> just want to let you know that. Uh, you That's try what to I do. do right I, if I see something like that, I just call and say, hey. There's a non-emergency here. Want to make sure you know, and then I, I that's that. Okay. Yeah. I guess good for you. I don't. I don't. Know. Oh, getting back to the squirrel in the substation. Yeah. Uh, that that fries itself. Uh, so justice served. Uh, do you consider squirrels varmints? I'm trying to figure out if squirrels. Yeah, it's are a varmint. We yeah we because raccoons are varmints. We know that. Uh, uh, moles. Moles are varmint. Uh, uh, obviously rats. Yep. So you you put squirrel in the varmint category because they're I would, cute. Yes. I mean, people think squirrels are cute, but I tend to agree with you that they are in fact varmints, and we need to be rid of them. There's nowhere is it written down Gophers. that says varmints can't be cute. See, I, Check I think the records. I think I think women would disagree with that. If it's well, a, if, if if women consider it cute, then it's not a varmint. It's a varmint as far as animals go. But I would agree with you. Once again, you and I coming together in agreement that See, squirrels are. are in fact varmints. Right. So regardless of what the ladies say about the squirrel, oh, it's a cute little squirrel, you know. Uh, feel free to okay. you know take care of your take care of the squirrels. I, I'll look the other way. Anyway, sports. Tigers lose to Baltimore five to three. Comes lose, comes lose, comes lose. They go down to Houston six to five. Stanley Cup Finals. Boston wins game one four to two. NBA Finals tip off Thursday night. Golden State against Toronto. That's sports. Have yourself a great Monday or Tuesday or whatever the hell day it is. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.